I don't care about the money. I like his lifestyle. By the United States law, he has to pay for the child support. How much money do you think a man should make for? Yeah, I told them a million dollar. Walter apologized for everything and came clean on everything. Wouldn't you want him to be involved in like your child's life? But why would you care about that? What? Hey everybody, it's your boy. Oh, Shay Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Team YouTube Music! So guys, I had to be petty and cover what is going on with Fresh and Fit. We all know that Fresh, booty clapping sounds! Fresh, the CEO, clap some cheeks. Some cheeks that were from Asia. I'll give him a round of applause. Yeah, he's getting those foreign cheeks. More booty clapping sounds! Oh, yeah. And stop the show. Hey, hey, he doesn't like wearing condoms. Double booty clapping sounds! Busty. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right, Fresh. Come from your country, which is Barbados. Move over to America. And then, you know, just start messing up the country by having all this unprotected sex with women that you don't want to be with. And that's interesting because those guys love talking about single moms while creating single moms. Booty clap is out! That's for Demo! So now we're at a new situation. YouTuber Destiny was able to do Fresh and Fit a favor. And it's interesting because Destiny doesn't agree with Fresh and Fit on almost anything. They've collabed, but it's typically not the same stuff. They've had some awesome back and forths in person, but Destiny reached out to Destiny Chin. She's a lady from China that was living in Miami. And um, well, they had a recorded call about the kind of person that Fresh CEO is. I know you want to check it out. So let's hear what they had to say. Hi, Daisy. Uh, how's it going? Um, you kind of no. Yeah. All right. So I don't know if you know anything about us, but we were just tuning into your sort of stuff going on with Fresh. Um, mm -hmm. Last we saw, you kind of posted some of that phone call. Have you posted any more of that phone call yet? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Because it's like much... a 30, 37 minutes phone call, and I don't want to post it though. Okay, just for the sake of clarity here, let me ask... Um, What's your best case scenario in this situation? What are we hoping for here? Are we hoping that he kind of turns around and maybe no, no, you know, no. I don't, I, I don't expect mm -hmm. him to to come around because I don't need this man in my life, mm -hmm. and I knew he's a trash. So why the reason why I'm posting this is because I want everybody to know that he is a liar and he's a cheater. Maybe he's a scammer, as how he behaved right now on the show after I posted everything he's making a joke about it like well he he said he didn't have any money right he said he didn't have any money he wouldn't be able to get any money so where where did all his money go the money i don't care about the money the thing is i want him to behave like a man like he didn't even offer me to like oh baby if you don't want to like like you know we're not together you don't want the baby uh i can help you you know take you to the hospital you know taking care of the medical just stuff just step up overall say, yeah Nothing, nothing of, no, none of that, you know, that's the reason why I got pissed. Okay. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm an adult. I can accept the breakup. But the thing is, we planned for this baby and he knew it. He I'm knew not it. that stupid. I'm not 18. Yeah, he knew it. We always oh, been wow. talking about the baby. Since day one, he asked me, what if you get pregnant? I told him directly. I would keep this baby because I am in love with you and I don't like I've never get pregnant before. Yeah. So if I'm pregnant, I, I'm definitely going to keep the baby. And that's like 100% you've decided that you are keeping this baby regardless of what he does. I told him that this is what he noticed. He know the information from me and he asked me many times like, oh, and he told me many times, you're going to be the baby's mother. You know, you don't because I smoke, like I smoke vape. He always take my va vape away. He's like, "Oh, I want you to be healthy. Um, you're gonna be my baby's mother, you know. And what if you get pregnant?" And even a week ago, when I was at his house, he was like, "Oh, I don't want to rent an apartment anymore. 
I want to buy the house instead because like it's better for us for the future. And what if we get pregnant? He keeps saying that every day to me. So that means well, he you, admitted. Well, you also said that uh, he introduced you to like his mom and his whole family, right? When you guys went to yeah, Barbados? The, the, his entire family. We spoke for two months when I was in China. We were in a long distance relationship. And uh, then he decided uh, to take me to Barbados. And I asked him, what's the purpose for the visit? He said, because he wants to show me his family, like where he grew up. And also he wants to take the Barbados passport because he want to travel to China. Because uh, for Barbados passport, he doesn't need a visa. So how can I not trust him like all of these, you know, he did like making efforts like Congratulations, David, mm -hmm. on your for me, yeah, it was sense. like everything was pretty like real for me. Yeah. Yeah. When did you start um, to sense things were off with him? Um, about a week ago, he he told me he decided not to rent the apartment as he promised. The reason why I want my own space is because I knew he he wanted to see other girls and the, his job because of what he does. Obviously, he's going to like deal with other women, associate with other women, which is fine for me. We had an agreement, you know, on that. And I know all men, you know, to become su successful, they, they wouldn't want to be with just one woman. And I told him, as long as I'm the man, that's fine with me. Just use protection and don't bring me disease. And he agrees with that. Now, let's go back to the part that she said scammer. I don't expect mm -hmm. him to, to come around because I don't need this man in my life. Mm -hmm. And I knew he's a trash. So why the reason why I'm posting this is because I want everybody to know that he is a liar and he's a cheater. Maybe he's a scammer. 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 Oh, yeah. Because this is the same thing that John Anthony Lifestyle said about Fresh about, I don't know, two years ago. This is the real clown of the fresh and fit duo. He makes Myron look like James Bond. This guy has 100K fake followers, fake Yahoo news articles written about him, takes pics with other guys' Lambos and private jets, yet doesn't have a website or any record of him ever owning a business. Doesn't take any research to expose the guy. He exposes himself with his own links, okay? And then he sends me a bunch of links. There's no time to go into all these. He clearly has too few likes, comments, or posts to justify the 100K follower count. <clears throat> Obviously paid for followers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And um that's that's interesting that Fresh is a scammer, but you know, I gotta really be honest. We all know that he is. But this young lady here, I just have a question. Did she not did she not know that he was that kind of person? Like, hasn't she watched Fresh and Fit? <laughs> she hasn't she hasn't watched it before. Because if she were to watch the show, she would have understood that these guys are around women all the time. They have pretty much nothing to offer anybody and she wouldn't have gotten herself in that situation. But Auburn Preach made a great video on this and they summed her up pretty well by saying this. And me listening to this brought to like, she's an idiot as well. Well, how so? Well, this guy puts his whole life out there. She gets with okay? Expecting him to take responsibility of all this other stuff. The dude is constantly in different dumb situations. What's more, he's told her, I'm going to be sleeping with other people. He does it with you unprotected. Why wouldn't you think he's not going to do it with the other ladies unprotected? Sure. I don't know. To me, it's just like you met him November 21st. You guys are talking about having babies by January. Like this broad is stupid, 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 stupid. Unfortunately, the lady is silly, but she isn't the only one that's silly. So is Fresh CEO. You know, we got to talk about migrants and immigrants coming into the country and uh, both of these guys have a lot of negative things to say about african americans i'm talking about fresh and fit myron and they both came from other places or their families came from other places to join the american dream and they both have some interesting things to say about african americans which i find very interesting because the ceo fresh who came from barbados he's not doing his dirty stuff in his own home country nope he's over in America, dealing with four other ladies having unprotected sex, put a clapping sounds, <laughs> and creating single moms, which is what he probably should do where he's from. 
but he brings his trashy behavior over to the United States of America. I mean, that's very interesting if you want to ask me. Very. It's very interesting that he's doing that. And guess what? This is the same guy who doesn't like black women. Stop the show. Black women, give yourselves a round of applause that you don't have to worry about a guy who's going to just, you know, clap your cheeks after three months and then get you pregnant. And then, you know, just say he doesn't want the kid. I mean, you know, it's good he's taking it to other communities, right? But the reality is that these guys don't practice what they're preaching. And all of you guys who were always coming over saying I was jealous of them. I was, a, I'm, I'm, I'm mad. Look, first of all, all you guys are clowns now. All right. These guys have been doing stupid stuff like this. And if you've ever given these guys money for a course or, you know, taking these guys seriously, you have been scammed. Sorry. You know, that's what's happened. These guys are a complete joke. And as the lady says, a scam, that's what they are. But you guys continue to go over there and worship them. But stop the show. It wasn't bad enough. They lost their own monetization. Now they're going to go ahead and ruin everything else because they can't go ahead and use protection. But guys, what do you think it should wait? Oh, Shay Duke Jackson back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity John. Which is your fire, you go. Grab the bell. We're out. <laughs>